Welcome back into our Let's Eat Kitchen. Joining me now is Brian Allberg from the famous and historic Red Lion Inn over in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Good to have you here this right, thanks, morning. Nice to be here. What are you making today? Uh, I'm going to make a seared sea scallop okay. and heirloom tomato gazpacho. Great. Um, it's a nice light summer dish. It uses what's fresh in the garden, except for the scallops. Right. <laughs> and uh, you start out, you want to make sure when you buy your scallops, you take the side muscle off. Okay. Um, I picked most of them off. So, And you're just going to season it with a little salt and pepper. Uh, and you want to make sure your oil's hot. You might mm -hmm. want to back up a little bit. Sure. Those are some nice big scallops. Yeah, these are U10. It um, means there's 10 per pound. Okay. So that's a good way to buy them. Um, a lot of grocery stores have uh, 1020s, mm -hmm. um, which would mean 10 to 20 per pound. Yeah, these are good. So while that's searing, um, we're just going to take some purple basil and uh, pick it off the stems. Now, where do you get purple basil? It. Well, you can grow it in your garden. It's okay. just another variety of basil. Um, a lot of um, farmers markers will have it. This uh, came from a farm in, in the Berkshires, as did uh, all this produce. Yes. Um, we have some, some corn here that we took off the cob, uh, cooked it first, yep. um, cooled it, and then removed it from the cob. Okay. There's some diced heirloom tomatoes. I'm just going to mix those in. There's about three or four different varieties in there. Um, you want to add your, your basil. It smells great already. Little, and this is on the menu of the Red Lion Inn? It's not. We run it as a special. Okay. Um, we try to use uh, whatever's in season, so our, our specials will change, you know, frequently about what we can get from the farms. Um, then we're, we're going to add a little verjou, which is a, uh, a wine vinegar okay. um, made from, from grapes, vernifera grapes. It's a little less acidic than, yep. than traditional vinegars. Great. Um, just going to mix that up. So you can see it's really nice and light. I mean, it's a great Absolutely. dish because you, you don't have to heat up your kitchen. I would grill the scallops outside if okay. I was at yeah, home. Yeah, I would love grilled you know. scallops. I'm going to add some olive oil to that. How much olive oil uh, is that? About an ounce and a half. Okay. And this is, this is probably enough to feed four people great. in this dish. So, you know, there's not a lot of fat. Um, just good, fresh, local stuff. I know you guys are big on using the local farms in Berkshire County for yes, your meals. Yes, we are. That's yeah, so and important. we broaden out. We buy a lot from the Hudson Valley, um, some from you know Vermont, but we try to keep it as local as we can. The scallops, the scallops will take about two minutes on each side. What's the key to knowing they're done? Well, because I find I tend to either over or undercook them. I watch, I sear them, <laughs> and then when, once you see the white go up about a third on okay. the scallop, I would flip them. Okay. Um, and that's about just under halfway done. Okay. And, and I like to eat them a little bit, like medium rare to medium. Okay. Yeah, you don't want them too chewy. No, no, you don't want to overcook them. So, um, in addition to this, we're gonna, we would grill some bread or. Uh, since we have the pan hot, rather yeah. than heat up our oven, we're going to toast the bread right in the pan oh, with the wow. scallops. And it's it's always nice to have to mix your dish with textures yeah. um, and temperatures. So you know, I really like the idea of the, the cold gazpacho right. with the seared warm scallop and then the the crunchy bread. It uh, just makes for a nice accompaniment. Definitely. Now, when will you be featuring this again? <laughs> um, actually, since I have all the ingredients, probably tonight. <laughs> Good. So if you go in tonight, tell them that you were watching this morning and uh, that you saw the recipe on this show. So right. to plate, you're just going to spoon the salad into, or gazpacho, the soup. Mm -hmm. Could be a salad if you left out the broth. Get some juice in there. That looks so nice. It looks like summer. It really does, finally. And this would be a great dish with the heat wave you guys have been talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you just and you would place the scallops right, right on top. top. There. Let's see what that bread looks like. Oh, that toasts nice up piece very of nicely. Toasted bread. And then, you know, if you want to be fancy, a little garnish. That looks and that's beautiful. It. And then, you know, there you have it. We did that in live in a minute, two we minutes. We really did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything, forget TV time, we did it yeah. all right here. So this recipe, we'll be posting it under the Let's Eat section of our website at WNYT.com. Seared sea scallops with sweet corn gazpacho. Brian Alberg from the Red Lion, and always nice to see you. Great to see Thanks you. so Thank much. Thank you. And we'll be right back with the scoop. Don't go away.